Hi everybody, how's things going? This is Doctor Who season seven. Uh, this is episode four. This is part five of Inferno. Um, this parallel world we've found ourselves in, I'm really enjoying this aspect of this um, story. Um, it's a really nice thing to see. It's different. It's not something we've encountered yet before. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this kind of progresses. I'm actually quite curious how long it takes the doctors to get back to his his own world. Um, but I'm sure I'll find out soon, so let's just go. <laughs> I love this little white suit that he's got on. He's he'll be all for it. Yes, yes, check all the other systems. Oh shit. <laughs> that is disgusting. Oh my god. Look at that dude just dead. Close the door please. on this earth is strong enough to withstand those pressures. Okay, so what's Apart from the green shit. Don't go near him, Brigadier, don't go near him. Don't trust getting to the drill head that he is in us. This is creepy. That's enough for me. There's no point in us hanging around any longer. If you're thinking of deserting, evacuating is the word. If I've only got a little time left to live, I'm going to spend it as far away from this place as I can get. We were ordered to remain here. And that's exactly what we're going to do. You speak for yourself. I managed to round up a few of the men, leader. Good. Most of them outside. No one is to leave this building without my permission. No one, Benton! Understood, leader. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> doctor's right. You're wasting your time. Look, if I can get this computer working again, it might give us the solution. Still hasn't sunk in, has it? There is no solution. The whole place is gonna blow up. Maybe you're right. Let's hope so. You really think this is the end, don't you? It could be. You could help me to save a world, you know. You said we'd pass the point of no return. Not this world, Elizabeth. The other one. Even now, you stick to this absurd story. <laughs> this other world exists, Brigade Leader. I think we'll take another look at this wonderful machine of yours. <laughs> Brigade Leader, your information all systems are breaking down. Remain here. We shall return shortly. Back in the world where I came from, I, uh, I removed the console to make some trial runs. <laughs> Well, what's happening? You said you needed a power source to make this thing work. Well, there's always a certain amount of energy left in the storage unit. Yay! <laughs> no. No, I couldn't possibly. Oh, shit. Why not? Would it create Paradox? A paradox <laughs> which shatter the space time continuum of all the universes. If you can save yourself. So. Oh shit, he should never have said anything! He this poor lass. Oh god, if one door opens and the other one closes. I was disposing of that thing's body. I just heard something from the intercom. Not a chance, they're all done for in there. It is 
is the director. You've got to do what he says and let him out of there. No, you mustn't. But he's alive. It's not really the director. Not anymore. Whatever you do, don't raise that heat shield. Oh, Petra. No, don't zoom in here, I feel like I've said this a lot in this episode, but it's true. Oh, what have you done, lass? Oh, no, not Benton. Oh, the poor lad. The green matches his jacket, though. Oh god, this takes a hold quick. Spacecraft? What are they talking about? The doctor has some sort of device that could get him out of here. Only the doctor, of course, not the rest of us. He says he comes from a parallel world. Look, will somebody tell me what's going on? The devil are we? Looks like the middle of nowhere. That's the plan. That is the point. All right, Patterson, what's going on? Sorry, sir, I don't understand. Answer me, please. Oh, for goodness sake. Dead in both wells, from the looks of it. Oh, he's got a cold. Not necessarily. I do have a plan for getting us out. But it all depends on those... Turn the air conditioning on. Oh, okay. I really didn't expect that to end there. Um, I was expecting like the doctor to go into this massive kind of elaborate plan that he had. I am enjoying this so, so much. Um, I think out of the four episodes uh, so far, um, four stories so far, this has been my favourite. Um, I really enjoyed the episode with the Autons, but this one for me has eclipsed that now. Um, it's such a unique story, this. I'm thoroughly thoroughly enjoying it so um i'm probably just going to watch the next episode because i'd like to see how the doctor kind of does get back um if he does in the next episode he might not till part seven um but yeah um i really like sutton um i like this wells petra as well um we didn't really see much of this wells liz um and we're not really seeing much of the other world at all, really. Um, but I'm quite interested to see how everything progresses. So I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.